Denver gave up a lot. Two ones, two twos, a fifth rounder plus Drew Locke, Noah Fant, and Shelby Harris for Wilson and a fourth rounder in return. Mike Bliss joins us now. And Mike, for the first time since Manning, the Broncos have a star quarterback. Take us through how Denver got this done. Yeah, it, I would say there's uh, there were two uh, plan A's. Okay. They were going on the same tracks. George Payton went into this offseason, A. Rod or Russell Wilson, he was going to get one of them. I do think a, uh, Aaron Rodgers was the preferred choice. But they got wind at the Combine about Wednesday of last week that the Packers were going all in, $50 million a year for Aaron Rodgers. He was going back. And then the Broncos really heated up trade talks with the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday. They got this uh, monster deal done. Rodgers back with the Packers. Not a bad, uh, if it was 1B, it's not a bad 1B. They will take it. Broncos country certainly fired up. So, of course, are the Broncos players. We've seen several, including Jerry Judy on Twitter, talking them up. And then we talked to Dalton Reisner about the new QB he'll be protecting. I did look into it a little bit, and I heard that Aaron Rodgers was staying in Green Bay. And I'm like, wow, like, I'm sure everyone saw that and was like, dang, what are, what are our plans for the Broncos? Okay, who, where are we going next? What's the next step? And then to see that uh, Russell Wilson is coming to town, I'm sure that the Broncos fans were like this all day. So now we're up here. Let's keep it up here and carry that on to the 2022 season, man. You know, Mike, this isn't like the good old days when the Broncos would face the Seahawks all the time, which means they've really not faced Russell Wilson a lot three times, including that Super Bowl 48 to forget. Yeah, and that was all about, you know, the hike into the end zone, and it all fell apart from that. Russell Wilson, what he did in that game was engineer a couple of field goals. That was a crazy game. It was one of those games that was over from the first snap. Again, Wilson didn't have to do much. Too bad he didn't get a second Super Bowl that next year. Hand the ball off to March and yep, Marshawn yep. Lynch, Marsh, yeah. and, and you avoid the worst call in NFL history, and he has two Super Bowl rings. Perhaps a reason he wants to be here as well. Yeah. Uh, greatest quarterback in Seahawks history. He's now a Bronco. And speaking of that connection, we talked to QB Brock Heward, former QB Brock Heward. He was with Seattle. He now calls Colorado home. He's played for a defensive minded head coach and Pete Carroll uh, won a lot of games more than any other quarterback in 10 years. But now to have an offensive minded head coach, an offensive minded play caller that's your head coach, a guy that was beloved in Green Bay as Nathaniel Hackett. I don't think Russell Wilson would have said yes to Vic Fangio. I don't think that would have happened. I think he said yes because of Nathaniel Hackett. How about that? Everyone talked about you got to get Nathaniel Hackett so you can get Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Well, it turns out you got Nathaniel Hackett, and that's why Russell Wilson wants to be here. That's interesting. There was also the thought at one point when they were going to keep Fangio that maybe Fangio being the veteran on defense would help attract some of these top quarterbacks. But what uh, Heward is saying, sounds like Russell Wilson wants to put some uh, numbers behind his legacy and become one of the all-time great quarterbacks. That's truly a goal for him. He has also said he wants to play to 40 to 45 years old. So he wants to go after Tom Brady as uh, taking that GOAT distinction. Broncos offensive line needs to protect him, that's for sure. Last one for you, Mike. If baseball ever figures this thing out, maybe Broncos country or Denver's fans in general can see Russell year-round because, as we all know, he can play baseball drafted by the Rocks. I'm sure he'll go down there and uh, take some uh, BP swings. You know, Bill Schmidt drafted him in 2010 in the fourth round as a second baseman. He didn't quite figure out the curveball <laughs> uh, on the lower A. He only hit 229 in those two seasons. But uh, he showed a great arm. How about that? A great second base, uh, second base arm, a lot of speed. I think had he stayed with it, you know, you never know, but had he stayed with it, he would have made it to the major leagues. But he made the right choice, I think, in switching to football. Almost a Rocky, now a Denver Bronco.